गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड इन विद अपाला इंजीनियरिंग एंड जनरल जियोलॉजी फ्रॉम परवीन सिंह बुक जियोलॉजी इन कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉब इन ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ हैवी कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉब्स सच एज बिल्डिंग्स टावर्स टैंक्स डैम्स एंड रिजर्वायर्स हाईवे एंड ब्रिजेस ट्रैफिक एंड हाइड्रो पावर टनल्स इम्बेकमेंट एंड रिटेनिंग्स स्ट्रक्चर लाइनिंग ऑफ इरीगेशनल्स एंड नेविगेशनल्स कैनाल्स एंड वाटर बॉडीज लाइंग ऑफ पाइप लाइन्स फॉर ऑयल्स गैस एंड वाटर ट्रांसपोर्ट प्लेटफॉर्म्स एंड एरोड्रोम्स and so on so full geological information about the site of construction or excavations and about the natural materials of construction is of paramount importance so this information has a full relevance in all the three aspect of each construction so planning designing and executions planning following the geological information is greatly useful in proper planning of an engineering project first topographic map such map give detail of relief feature and are essential to understand the relative merits and the merits of all the possible sites of or the purpose proposed structure the presence and the nature of slopes size count can contours and depth of a valley and gorge and the rate of a change of elevations in various different directions can be easily computed from such a map a broad choice to de demarcate the area for construction can be made at this stage hydrogeological map these map give broad details about the distribution of a distribution and geometry of the surface water ch channel and also the occurrence and the depth a contour of a ground water below the surface of the earth such data is of a great importance in proper planning of many engineering project this is because the surface water and ground water are most important feature uh, important factors that influence the stability and cost of engineering structure in in many ways geological map petrological character and structural deposition of rock types as developed in the proposed areas are depicted in geological map it is from these map and section drawn across them in different direction and engineers can obtain much useful information regarding fracturing and displacement that the site rock might have undergone in the past these maps also give an ideas about the unavailability uh, uh, or otherwise of the materials of construction in the area further so these maps guide him in locate locating and limiting the exploratory operations test holds its for sub surface investigations in the area of interest and b design in the matter of designing of an engineering project the role of geological information can hardly be over emphasized in many cases that these are the geological character conditions that finally the dictate the broad contour of the engineering designs of an engineering project it be be it a high rise of building road bridge dam or a tunnel and so on for intense in the matter of a choice design of that particular type of dams would be di dictated mostly by the geological conditions of the site the profile of the gorge and or the valleys the strength of the rocks at the base and on the embankments need very through testing and analysis before deciding the final size shape and other parameter of the design of the dam dam uh, as high as bhakra dam as and as long as hirakund dams of india 
कैन नॉट बी बिल्ट अक्रॉस वेरी रिवर्स वैली ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सम ऑफ द जियोलॉजिकल करेक्टर दैट हैव अ डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट बेयरिंग अपॉन द डिज़ाइन ऑफ अ प्रपोज प्रपोज प्रोजेक्ट आर द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अ हार्ड बेड रॉक एंड दियर डेफ्थ फ्रॉम एंड इन इंक्लाइनेशन विद द सरफेस थ सेकेंड पॉइंट द मैकेनिकल्स प्रॉपर्टीज अलॉन्ग्स एंड अक्रॉस द साइट ऑफ द प्रपोज प्रोजेक्ट अमोंग दीज प्रॉपर्टीज स्पेशल मैंशंस मस्ट बी मेड ऑफ देयर कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ शेयर एंड ट्रांस ट्रांसफर स्ट्रेंथ मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी एंड प्रोपोरसिटी एंड परमेबिलिटी रेजिस्टेंस टू डिके and disintegrations uh, and thirds uh, presents and nature uh, presents nature and distributions pattern of a uh, plane of uh, structure structural weakness and joints uh, weak uh, immaterials uh, as a uh, shear zones uh, fault zone fault zone clay bands and cystocity zones it's uh, the position of ground water table in its uh, totality including point of recharge and uh, discharge and variations during different period of the year seismic character of the area as uh, they see further from uh, the seismic history and uh, predictions about the future seismic city c construction during the actual exec executions of a, a civil engineering project geological knowledge is a, of a great value to an engineering engineer in the selections of and selection and pro, per, pro, proper use of a right type of materials of a construction derived from the natural bedrock soil and bank and beach the engineer responsible for the quality control of a construction materials will derive the enormous benefit from this geological background of the natural materials such as the sand gravels crushed rock and soil properties of all of these materials are best understood when studies studied in proper geological perspective similarly for construction in geological sensitive areas as those of a coastal belt seismic zones and perform per म फ्रॉस्ट रीजन से नॉलेज ऑफ जियोलॉजिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ द एरिया इज ऑफ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस इन द कोस्टल एरियाज बिहेवियर ऑफ रॉक टूवर्ड्स वेव्स करेंट एंड मेराइंस इन्वायरमेंट एंड मस्ट बी फुली अंडरस्टूड बॉथ एट द प्लानिंग स्टेज एंड मोर सो ड्यूरिंग एग्जीक्यूशंस ऑफ द वर्क स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन मे बिकम्स एसेंशियल इन दीज एरियाज इट इज अ ट्रू अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन इन सेस्मिक डिजाइन वेयर वेट ऑफ द कंस्ट्रक्शन मटेरियल बिकम अ क्रिटिकल फैक्टर्स बिकॉज द कंस्ट्रक्शन हैज टू बी वेल बैलेंसड एंड एसेंशियल लाइट वेट एज फॉर एज अ पॉसिबल आर्किटेक्चरल फैंसीज आर टू बी Avoided or else very carefully designed and constructed constructions in perf uh, per ma frost regions where soil remains permanently frozen to the to a certain depth all the time. Present. It owns problems that can be solved only by proper understanding of the ground below. Construction of an underground project like tunnels cannot at all be undertaken without a thorough, thorough knowledge of the geological character and setting of the rock and their relevance to the to the loads imposed on a rele relieved from them. The same time. sorry the same type of rock may behave totally differently under different natural settings rock do not behave according to empirical thumb rules that may be possible for other materials because these are any an isotropic in character hence stability of a structure constructed on them or through them or with them depends on considerably on the understanding of the nature of the rock in all seriousness thank you